With the early game more important than ever, it's time to talk about healing fountains, also known as wells. Healing fountains provide you with 40% health and 30% mana on a 120 second cooldown. Healing fountains are a resource, just like your level 10 abilities, with a long cooldown and if used efficiently, can give you an edge. For those looking to have a bigger impact in the game, there are three main uses for a healing well. First, to maintain soak, survive, win your lane. Second, to rejoin a team fight. And number three, to power up. Strategy one is pretty straightforward. Maintain soak, win your lane. If you can't survive and can't be in range of your lane minions as they die, you won't get the XP that they create. A hero must be in range so XP can be received. Here, if I were to die, all XP is cut. Sonya will get a large level lead from the XP she gets in this lane while no one else is around. Here I am forced to retreat. I'm going to use my well, but I have to remember what my effective health is. My actual health is the light green. Walking out this door, Sonya could destroy me. I need to take a little bit of time to let that dark green bar become my true health. In an ideal situation, you have drafted smartly and have a good counter to the enemy or just simply the skills to outmatch them. In these sort of situations, you're looking at making the enemy use their wealth first, forcing it out of them so you can have an advantage for the first objective. Here, Sonya runs away for an extended period of time. I can assume that she is grabbing her well, and when she comes back down the lane, I can see she has the light and the dark health on her bar. It is now my job to bully that health out of her so that I still have a well in the background, giving me a huge advantage for that next objective. Reason number two to use your healing well is to rejoin a team fight already in progress. This takes a knowledge of objectives and map timings. As we've already mentioned, the healing well is on a 120 second cooldown. Most objectives in the game start at 3 minutes with a 30 second wind up. This means as long as you use your healing well in the first minute of the game, you can guarantee that you'll have it for use in that first team fight. These maps are Battlefield of Eternity, Cursed Hollow, Garden of Terror, Haunted Mines, Infernal Shrines, Sky Temple, Towers of Doom, and Warhead Junction. One of the outliers here, Volskaya, is on a 2 minute 20 second timer, but you should treat it in the same mental space. Three maps have objectives that come online very early in the game, at a minute 30, and you'll want to make sure you have a healing well in order to interact with them. These maps are Braxis Holdout, Blackheart's Bay, and Dragonshire. There is one other map, Tomb of the Spider Queen, whose objective opens up at 30 seconds. You won't have the necessary gems to make the turn in there, so on that map you can be relatively free with your well. Once you've armed yourself with map knowledge, you can make choices as to how you use your resources. In this situation, I'm able to get more aggressive knowing that if I died, Muradin would be there to soak, and I also have a free well to use in the background that won't affect my first objective. The first objective on Curse Hollow is at three minutes. There is a two minute cooldown on my well. As long as I use my well, before the first minute is completed, I am guaranteed to have that well on cooldown and ready to use. You can also be inspired to get more aggressive when you know you have a well behind you and someone else who's able to soak that lane should you die in your current action. It can be confusing, so keep in mind that your well will be on a total seconds cooldown while the top clock is based on minutes. Using my further map knowledge, the ability to stutter step here, and knowing I have a well in the background, allows me to go safely take this camp and join the upcoming objective. As the objective begins to spawn, my healing fountain cooldown is also completed, and I am able to enter this objective with greater aggression than I would normally have, knowing that I have an escape on my character Vala, and a 40% heal waiting for me.
Here I force Zul'jin out of the area, taking some hits, in full knowledge that I have a healing well waiting for me, which allows me to maintain my presence. This push in the bottom that ultimately gets the fort would not have been possible without the damage of Vala. If I had Hearth, I would have been absent from this battlefield. That well I traded in to increase the DPS of this push. Sadly, the objective time spawn is where a lot of these map similarities end. Going into detail on those is better served in an individual map video. But interacting correctly with the objective timer in conjunction with your healing fountain will put you on a good rhythm for the rest of your game. The final way that you might use your healing well is as a power up. This is to give you more health than you might otherwise have. In this moment, I can take a healing well with the health running underneath my total. You can actually see it on my mana bar there. Note that you cannot take a healing well if you are full health and mana. By taking the well in this way, I am regenerating underneath my health, and I have a window of time in which I can get very crazy while throwing the enemy's perspective off and maybe achieving something I couldn't otherwise do in a behind situation. And often, a defense like this is something you'll do from behind, grabbing your well, heading in to try to get something done, and having that survivability to get yourself out. Just like our defensive power-up healing well, we can use the healing well to have health that we otherwise wouldn't have to take an early Merc camp. Here at the minute mark on Cursed Hollow, the Bruiser's camp spawns. By missing that little bit of mana, I'm able to pick up the well and run straight to the Bruiser's camp with that health regening underneath my total health. As I take damage in this rather clunky, even lazy capture, that regeneration is running, allowing me to have a safety net and complete this camp. Since I took the healing well at the minute mark, it'll be back online at three minutes right as the objective spawns. So I haven't lost any resource value on this map. And in fact, I've turned it into an advantage for my team that we normally wouldn't get. 